Okay, tell me this isn't cool. Alright, so I really need to explain myself why I think that is really cool. So the thing is that is an M1 MacBook Pro and the game that you saw right now, the Spider-Man remaster was actually playing natively on the MacBook. Well, kind of natively in the sense that this is running from Steam and it's actually the Windows version. And I'm able to do this because Apple is working on a software that is allowing you to port the games from Windows to Mac OS. So this is called the gaming porting tool and it's still in beta. So Apple is still developing it. And so far it's not that easy to install, well not complicated also, but you still have to run some commands in command line, so you can do that, don't get me wrong, but it's not like installing a software and that's it, plug and play. But once you are done, then you are able to install Steam and you can pretty much install all of your games from Steam on your MacBook and you should be able to play it. Of course, there are some limitations. This is still in beta after all, and this is still a MacBook, it's not a gaming PC. But considering that the M processors are really powerful, now you should be able to do this. So basically, the games are ported from DirectX to the MacBook and you should be able to play. Before I show you a couple of games, I want to let you know that this isn't a video about comparing games, comparing resources, statistics, FPS and all of that. This is just my experience and just a bit of settings tweaks that I've done in order to have a couple of games running. So that's most of you'll get out of this uh, video, but I just wanted to show you my experience of running games on the Mac OS. So let's have a bit of fun together and run straight to the games. And already download Spider-Man Remaster because if you know me, that's my game. And even though I got a couple of errors, I was able to open the game and at first it was running horribly. And I said, okay, it's still cool that at least I'm able to open the game, the frames of what around 10 frames per second or something like that. But at least it was opening and the game was playable. But then I wanted to check the settings and see if I can tweak it a bit. But apparently for some reason the settings were set to very high. So that's why the limitation and the frames were really low. But still, running Spider-Man Remaster on very high, around 10-15 FPS was still pretty great for me. Then I lowered the settings, I put it to medium, and then I was able to get around 30, even 45 frames per second. So the game was actually playable and not even playable. I can actually see myself running this full game from start to end. And I do get a couple of hiccups here and there from time to time because I tested this out a bit more than a couple of hours. But to my surprise, this is actually an enjoyable experience. So you can actually run the games on the MacBook. So considering that I had this great experience with Spider-Man, I wanted to try a couple of more games. Then I tried Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, but for some reason I got a couple of errors is seeing that the laptop is having an integrated graphics card and it didn't allow me to open the game. I didn't want to stress too much because I have a lot more games in my Steam library and I wanted to try them out. Then I went with Witcher and uh, even though it's a bit an older game, uh, this is still requiring quite a few resources to run and uh, I was able to tweak this a bit and uh, if I put this on medium, it runs at 30 FPS stable and as you can see here, I'm in the city so it requires a bit more graphic than that. Being able to have around 30-45 FPS on medium, I think is still more than great. But I even tried this on very high and to my surprise, this is still running at more than 20 FPS. So there you go, another AAA game that I am able to run on my MacBook, running this whole porting game tool software that Apple is providing us. I also wanted to try some other games as well. There were a couple of more that didn't want to work straight out of the box. Uh, I tried FIFA 22. It's an, an older title, but for some reason I didn't want to do this. I was thinking that maybe it's because of EA Launcher because uh, it's not running through Steam, but rather through that app. So it could be that, but then I tried something else that has an extra launcher and uh, I went with GTA San Andreas and this requires Rockstar. And uh, as you can see, this is running pretty good. It does wait a couple of more minutes to open the Rockstar launcher, but in the end it's running. And as you can see, this is at 60 FPS most of the time. I think this game runs really good. I know it's another title, this has been let's say remastered in some way but uh, still an older title but being able to run this at 60 fps i think it's more than great i'm really enjoying and gta san andreas is one of my favorites so for sure i'll keep it installed on my macbook and able to run it on the go and then i tried a couple of more titles some small ones like vampire survivor you know that this is not a power requesting game and i am able to play this game right away easy installation works straight out of the box no errors no nothing and I was able to enjoy a couple of sessions in Vampire Survivor. 
I'm not the best player at it, but I was able to get a couple of sessions into the game. So outside the games, I do want to mention that the application is crashing quite often, especially after I exit the game and try to open a new one, uh, but you can easily restart the Steam application and you're good to go. I think this is the first time that I'm hearing the fans out of this MacBook, to be honest. So it's not the smoothest experience, but I think it's still enjoyable. Do I recommend to have this as a day-to-day? -day? No, absolutely not. If you don't have another gaming laptop or a console or whatever, this is everything that you have on your hands. Maybe you have a MacBook for doing this kind of video editing and that is it. You're not a big gamer and just want to have a bit of fun from time to time. Then I definitely can recommend this. I'm really curious if Apple will have an update soon. As I said, this is still in beta and even the installation process is not the easiest one. But I really hope that they will make this easier so more people can enjoy it. This isn't a tutorial on how to install this app. Application. This is just my experience with it and to be honest I will continue on using it. I do have a lot of consoles you probably already seen my other videos uh, but these kind of things are really interesting to me. I like to try out new things. This laptop is used only for video editing for this channel but if I'm able to enjoy it in some other ways and especially since it's gaming this is what I do for this channel then why not I really wanted to try out this experience and speaking of Apple and gaming you probably seen that iPhone 15 Pro is able to run AAA games now I have pre-ordered my phone but it may take a while to arrive but I really want to test out that phone for myself and I will do a video about the experience if you can actually run some AAA games if you can put this on a monitor using a controller or even a projector, why not? I do have a couple of ideas in mind, so stick around for that video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one out. Hope you enjoyed this type of videos because this isn't what I usually do here on the channel, but let me know down in the comments if you, this is something you prefer rather than the other type of content that I do and drop a like if you had fun watching this video. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Silvio and this is The Tech Unravel. See you in the next one.